Now let's talk about the rest of the advanced settings. Let's jump back into your WISE app and with your WISE cam selected, hit the gear icon in the top right corner to access your camera settings. We've already discussed alert settings and some of the advanced settings and we're gonna jump right back into the advanced settings to finish talking about the rest of these. After the settings for local recording, you'll see some information about the storage availability of your micro SD card and then an option to format the card. By hitting format, you erase everything on your card and give it a fresh restart for WiseCam. Now it is a good idea to do this if this is the first time using the micro SD card in the WiseCam, but please make sure to back up the footage somewhere else if you don't want it erased. Once the card has been successfully formatted, you'll hear the WiseCam make the same sound it made when you first inserted the card. Now the card has been successfully formatted. Underneath format card, you'll see a second way to toggle the night vision. Again, you can change your night vision between on, off, and auto just like we did when we talked about the live stream view. The setting after that is camera status light. So do you remember the light on the back of your wise cam from the setup process? Well, it's still there and it can give you handy information about what's going on if you have connectivity issues. We understand that an LED light is not the stealthiest thing, especially if you're using your wise cam for security purposes at night. So this is where you can turn it off and on. So that's off, on, off, on. The next setting down is rotate image 180 degrees. If your wise cam is upside down, this will keep your footage right side up. If you ever find your video upside down at any point, you should definitely check this setting. After that, you have the option to turn on and off the timestamp. Some people want the date and time burned onto the footage. You can turn that on and off here. The next option is sync time. Pressing this will cause your wise cam to adjust its timestamp to the time on your phone or tablet in case you move into a new time zone or something. That's it for the advanced settings. Let's finish all these features by going back to the camera settings and tapping device info. In the device info settings, you can update the camera name. Beneath that, there is some nice information about your wise cam, like MAC address, the Wi-Fi network it's connected to, and the firmware version that you have installed. If you press this button, you can have your wise cam do a manual check for a firmware update. Wise cam will do regular checks on its own and alert you to a firmware upgrade when available. But you can always check yourself, and if needed, hit the upgrade button if you've fallen behind on firmware. And lastly, at the bottom of the camera settings, you can delete device. Pressing this will delete the wise cam from your account forever, but you can always do the setup process again. And that wraps it up for camera settings. We have just one more video to talk about account management, and then you are officially a professional wise cam user. I'll see you all over in the last video.